Gerard, what's your first little thought about this early season? I mean, it's March, and here you are in the middle of uh, Headingley, indoors, but training very, very hard. Yeah, well, to be honest, over the last five, six years, it's all been pretty much the same. I think with the season starting that much earlier, uh, you know, you've got to start your, your pre-season earlier as well. So uh, it's, it's funny, uh, the, the good thing about the weather, it snowed in, in December, so it's usually snowing around now. So it, it feels like we've moved on quite closer to summer. Well, it's a sunny day outside and I think people are really getting excited mm. about it. And this morning you've been doing the fitness testing here, yeah. of course, with Multipower helping you through the winter yeah. and yeah. training for the season. How important is the nutrition side of things for yeah. a, a cricketer these days? I mean, yeah, I mean, and things have changed over the last 20 years drastically, and I think um, companies like Multipower, I mean, they, they support us a lot, they give us a lot of kit, and, and it's, it's very important, you know, for your diet and um, your training sessions, you know. There's a lot of protein, they, they, they supply us with a lot of protein drinks, things, which help us um, get through these sessions. And of course, last year, it was a pretty good season, really, for Yorkshire, now you're, and you had a reasonable year yourself, would you say? How would you, what's your assessment of your own, your own year as a season? Yeah, I mean, I first and foremost look at my wicket-keeping and how it's gone across the year, and, um, you know, I, I count the mistakes I've made through a year, and... Uh, and I, I was really pleased with the way I kept last year. Um, I only put four, four mistakes down, so one must stump in and three drop catches through a season. So pretty pleased with that. <laughs> but you never, you can't say that too often because the next ball comes, you might drop that. So no, I was pretty pleased with the way it went. Uh, personally, I batted well. Uh, you know, won a few games, saved a couple of games. So I was pretty pleased with the way I batted. Would have liked a couple more hundreds in the four-day stuff, but you know, that's just the way it goes. It was a long season ahead in different formats of the game. Is yeah. that something that you've always found isn't too difficult to chop and change? Or, or is yeah. there so much cricket these days, is it now becoming a bit of an issue? Well, I think it depends on the format. I mean, if, if you're playing four-day cricket, you take a break, play one-day cricket, take a break, play, then it's fine. But uh, last year, there was a couple of times that we were going from a four-day game into a 20-20 over 20, 20 game, back to a four-day, and, and that's quite difficult to adjust. I think the guys are good enough and professional enough that you can adjust, but ideally you, you, you probably want to be playing one format of the game at a time. Well, uh, talking about format, one format at a time, um, it's uh, you know, Yorkshire this season. Are you looking at one particular format that you'll be looking to, to shine in or, or the county are? Yeah, well, I, th I think starting off the season you've got to be looking at winning every trophy. You know, uh, Last year, but if pro in the 40 over game um, as well as the four day competition, we did really well. So again, we'll like to push hard in that. We haven't been as successful as we would have liked in the 2020 over the last years. So I think that's something we'll really focus on and try and prove, prove on and, and hopefully you know, pick, some trophy, pick up a trophy towards the end of the season. Well, of course, experience is key. There's some new players coming in. Ryan mm -hmm. Sidebottom, of course. Yeah. Fantastic to have him, him here. How's, how's he mixing with the, with the guys already? Yeah, oh, Sydney's a Yorkshire lad, isn't he? So uh, he's, he's just come, come home, really. So there, there wasn't really any uh, process of him fitting back in. He just kind of walked in the change room and, and slotted back into where he came from. Um, he's a great asset for the sides, you know, especially with Tim Breslin and Edge Edge they had been away so much. We really needed a bit of experience with the seam from the seam bowling side. And he brings that. He's he's, you know, he's he's probably the best bowler I've faced all of last season, you know, for not so. He's he's definitely one of the best around the county scene. He's got the experience, and we've got some really young, good seamers coming through, and they'll they'll uh, learn a lot from him, you know. You mentioned Shazad and uh, Breslin there, of course, yeah. who are obviously key to the Yorkshire outfit, but of course playing for England in the, in the World Cup. Yeah. What's your take on the World Cup so far? Is it a good tournament? Yeah, I think it's been great. You know, uh, um, I, what, I, what I have found is the, the smaller, you know, like I say the, the minor countries, you know, Netherlands, Netherlands really pushed hard, you know, they've got some good batting. Um, it's, it's the way the guys are adjusting to conditions out there, I think that's really key. You know, the top sides are you know, for, uh, adjusting the conditions better than other teams. And I think the toss is going to be quite important, you know. Um, saw yesterday there was an example, I think Netherlands made a mistake of, um, I, th I think they bowled first, didn't they? And they really should have batted first, and that proved um, quite decisive in the, in, the, in the result of the game. And of course, I suppose you're still keeping half an eye out for Ireland, who you did yeah. play for in, was it 2007, I believe? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I think I've played four games for Ireland, so four internationals, uh, I enjoyed it immensely. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got a couple of good mates who play there, obviously Ed Joyce, he's, he's, he's back in the, in the mixer. So they've got four or five really good batters there, you know, and, and they've, they've got a chance of beating, um, beating some of the big sides. So it's a good, good team to watch, I think. Fantastic. OK, well, a couple of things just to finish on yeah. here. The best game of cricket you've ever been involved in? Personally? Yeah, the best game you've been involved in yeah. as, as a game of cricket. Well, I remember I was playing in, uh, in South Africa. Uh, we were playing against Natal. I was playing for Orange Free State against Natal in Durban. And uh, we, I'm not 100% sure of the numbers, but I know we chased about 430 on the last day. Um, and Hansi Cronier got 150, I think, for us. We, Sean Pollock, Lance Clues, they were at the prime of their bowling, so it was really high standard of cricket. 
and we managed to chase 430 in, in a day and to win the game. So that was probably the best uh, four-day game I've been involved in. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah. And on a personal note, is, is there an innings or, or a keeping performance today that you'd like to currently, yeah. currently hang your hat yeah. on? Yeah, I think uh, a number of years ago we played a 2020 game against um, Derby and uh, I scored a 50, I opened the batting and got 50 in 13 balls, which is, which is something I'll always remember. You know, unfortunately, there was no result because it rained, but, uh, but that's something I'll always remember. You know, that, was, that was one of my special knocks. You know. Well, listen, we hope you have many more special knocks this summer and uh, we look forward to catching up with you later in the year. Yeah, like. thanks. Thanks very thanks, much. Jim. Cheers.